Financial Freedom by Grant Sabatier. Welcome to your book summary.com. Decide how much capital you need to gain financial freedom. As I embark on figuring out how much money I need to stop worrying about my finances, I realize there is no one-size-fits-all answer. The number that works for me might be different from someone else's. It could be a figure that allows me to cover my bills, pay off my loans, or even travel. However, I know there are flexible rules to follow to reach my target. Many factors, such as my location, spending habits, and the stock market's performance, can affect how much money I need. Therefore, I regard this process as fluid, knowing that my preferences could evolve and change. When it comes to finances, it's important to remember that your lifestyle plays a big role in how much money you need. Take some time to think about what a perfect day looks like and living a happy and fulfilling life doesn't necessarily require a lot of money. If you're starting your financial journey at a young age, you can benefit from the power of compounding and need less money before retiring. To ensure your finances last throughout your life, aim to hit these important goals. It's always smart to plan for the future, especially when it comes to finances. One important step is to save at least 25 times your expected annual expenses. This way, you'll have a cushion to fall back on if unexpected expenses arise. Additionally, it's wise to delay cashing in the gains from your investments to maximize your returns. Another good rule of thumb is to make sure you have enough money to fund a year's expenses, just in case. Conserving your initial capital is also important, as it can help you weather any financial storms that may come your way. Finally, it's a good idea to calculate how much you will need in retirement by multiplying your current expenses by 25 or 30. And always remember, with every purchase, you exchange its price for the amount of time you spent to earn it. So, before making any big purchases, Consider whether it's worth surrendering the earning power of the money you would have gained if you didn't spend it. I hope you found the information about Financial Freedom by Grant Sabatier, decide how much capital you need to gain financial freedom. If you're interested in learning more about the book, stay tuned for the next part of this series where we'll dive into the next section. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.